Hi everyone, it's Lauren. I've been saying for a while now that I've wanted to do a little series of videos where I take you guys with me on various different walks throughout different parts of London, so I'm really happy to say that that's what we're going to be doing today. This first walk that I want to take you on is in North London and we're going to be going from King's Cross to Marlebone. So I'm just about to leave my house and I'm going to go for brunch with Jen Campbell and she's going to be our tour guide. She's going to be taking us on a walk along Regent's Canal. So we're starting near King's Cross in Granary Square. We're going to be walking through Kentish Town, through Camden Town and then the canal takes you through Regent's Park and through Regent's Park Zoo, London Zoo. You can see the animals on either side of the canal. Then we're going to come down through Regent's Park and the plan is to end up in Daunt Books on Marylebone High Street. This is a really pretty walk and there's lots of really fun um, things to see and do on the way as well. So hopefully we'll have a good time. It's sunny today, so that bodes well. And I hope you guys have a good fun coming along with us as well. And maybe if you are ever in London, it's something you can try out for yourself. <laughs> So this is Granary Square just behind me which is a really lovely location on the canal which has some really nice restaurants. Um, to my left there's also the House of Illustration um, which has a lovely shop full of really pretty prints. I can't show you inside unfortunately because they're closed this morning. And then to my right is also the King's Cross Theatre um, which is really cool and it has a track, a train track running through the middle of the stage so when they put on shows like the Railway Children they had an actual steam engine on stream. So other restaurants you can go to here are caravan and the brain store but today we are going to go to Dishoom which is an Indian restaurant they have lots of different um, venues around London not just in King's Cross but they do amazing breakfasts like sausage naans and bacon naans and curried eggs so let's go find Jen because I am hungry where the trains from King's Cross are stored, so it's really tall. It's this huge warehouse Really? Space. Oh, I didn't know that. I yeah, thought because yeah. it was like Granary Square, I thought that's where they stored grains or something, like from along the canal. I think they did the in the grain store. Oh, okay, but that the bit. other, but Dishoom and Caravan used to be um, warehouses. So Caravan is next door and is also mm. this really awesome open space. Um, but they decided, obviously, real estate, like primary real estate. Now they store the carriages further outside of London. So there's this huge space that's been developed around King's Cross, which is where we're standing where they're building all kinds of stuff. So now we're gonna walk along Regent's Canal. When you come out and down onto the canal, you can turn left and walk all the way along to Canary Wharf. And then this way, which is where we're going, you can walk all the way along. Actually, I don't know how far you can go because I've never gone to the end. Oh no, well, but we I have walked go... all the way to Notting Hill before, haven't we? We have, and you far. can go further than that. <laughs> I was like, it was far. It was, it was it quite was a long walk. <laughs> <laughs> but this is my favorite walk in London, which is why I'm so glad Lauren has started this series. I'm like, yes. So we're going to take like, you I can along. Take you. I know, we can take you and show you because there are so many houses along here that are so cute. It's a really lovely walk, so yeah. I'm going to show you. First off, there's this house that I want to move into. Yeah. It reminds me of, who's the guy in the Railway Children who has... Oh, um, pot, uh, Mr. Potts. Potts. Mr. Potts? It's like Mr. Potts' house, except it's not a railway station it house, it's a lock house. It does look like that, yeah. And it's, it's so really cute. cute. Let's go. Like every house that we passed, Jen's gonna be like, this is my favourite house. I have so many <laughs> houses that I just love. <laughs> Night trick 
ice cream. No, they make it ice. using, what do you call it? Nitrogen. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Well, let's find out. Best ice cream in London, apparently. <laughs> Right, it sounds like we're talking about a car. <laughs> it's, it's a really nice thing to do. It's a bit touristy, but it's really kind of cute. And then the second bookshop is down there, and it's a second hand bookshop. We're not actually going to go in it, but if you want to know where it is, it's next to the food market. So, you know how we said every house along this walk is Jen's favourite house? This is my favourite street. The favourite street. So my all of the, any of these houses. Is that a thing? A canal street? Well, it's kind of like the back of houses, isn't it? Yeah. Really? And each of them has a little boat and a tree house. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to afford to live here, but it's beautiful. <laughs> We're just around the back of Regent's Park Zoo now. So on either side of the canal, there are some enclosures. Behind us there is the like aviary, I guess. Um, and on the left-hand side, as we go up, there's going to be some African hunting dogs. Yeah. And um, some warthogs. Um, we're not in the zoo. We're not we're in like the zoo. Walking past the. We're going walking it. past it. I don't know how I feel about zoos in general. But no, I know me neither. Perhaps that is for another video. Not for right now. We're coming off the canal now, so we're going up this bridge and into Regent's Park. like being in Venice. Okay, so we have come from here, some, somewhere, over here, and we've walked along the canal, past the Town, to Camden Lock Market, and then we've walked down this way, along the canal, this is where the zoo is, we've crossed over here and we've walked along here and we're here. So we're going to go through these Queen Mary Gardens because they're very Alice in Wonderland and really sweet and then we're going to come off onto Baker Street and Marlebone Road and down Marlebone High Street um, which is where Dorbex is. We're in the Queen's Gardens now, we're not going to go past it, but I thought I would also mention that down this way is the open air theatre. It's open in the summer between sort of May and September normally, um, and they, it's really, really beautiful theatre, really green, lots of trees, and the shows they have on there are fantastic. So if you are in London over the summer, I really recommend checking that out. Be 
Hi guys, we're in Daunt Books in Marsbone and this is one of my favourites because as well as just being very beautiful, over here they arrange the books by country so you can go to Japan, not literally, the section of Japan and find all the travel guides but also all the Japanese literature. So if you're just interested in learning about different cultures, you don't need to know what author you're looking for, you can just go over here. We're going for somewhere to eat now because I'm um, pretty tired. We are. How about you? Have a Jen's book bag. Water book. But yeah, no, I need food in my stomach. Yeah. I think this walk overall has taken us, it's got past three now. When did we start? About half eleven after breakfast. I think it was about, yeah, half eleven quarter to twelve. Yeah, so it's taken, we've been walking for about three hours now. Bear in mind we have been stopping to film, so it probably yeah, exactly. take, it'll take less time than that, maybe yeah, like we, an hour and a half. We've been really like ambling around, so I reckon yeah. an hour and a half to two hours maybe max. Mm -hmm. to Bond Street, that's where we're finishing up this walk. So thanks for joining us. I've had a really nice hour and lovely time. It was great. Thanks for taking us around, Jen. You've been yeah, such a good tour guide. Can I come around again? <laughs> Definitely. You can take us around the whole of London if you want. Let us know if there's any other areas of London that you'd like to see or would like us to go to. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.